Welcome to Storytime. My name is Natalie and I'm a librarian at the Comox Branch of Vancouver Island Regional Library. I'm so happy to see you today. Let's start by singing our Roly Poly song. Roly Poly, Roly Poly, up, 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 up. Roly Roly Poly, Roly Roly Poly, down, down, down. Down, down, down. Roly poly, roly poly. Out, 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 out. Roly roly poly, roly roly poly. In, 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 in. Roly poly, roly poly. Fast, 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 fast. Roly roly poly, roly roly poly. Slow, slow. Slow, slow, slow. Good job. So are you all having a good summer? I sure am. One of my favorite things to do in the summer is to pack up a whole bunch of food and go on a picnic. I love to explore. There's so many different beautiful places around our island we can go to, like the beach, we can go on hikes. We can go to rivers, we can go to playgrounds and parks. So much fun. So let's start by doing a picking fruit song because that's one of the things that's part of exploring is seeing what berries are growing around us. What berries have you seen in the wild? Blackberries? Yeah. What about? Blueberries, strawberries, and huckleberries. Yeah, so many. So let's sing the song that's called I Picked a Strawberry. It goes like this. Picked a strawberry, picked a strawberry that was growing in the sun. Then I washed it, then I ate it, and I picked another one. What else should we do? I think we should do blackberries for sure because there's so many blackberries around right now. Ready? Picked a blackberry, picked a blackberry that was growing in the sun. Then I washed it, then I ate it, then I picked another one. Should we do huckleberries? Picked a huckleberry, picked a huckleberry that was growing in the sun. Then I washed it, then I ate it, then I picked another one. Good job. <clears throat> okay, so I would like to read this book to you. I'm just going to move over here a sec. So it's called The Picnic by John Burning Burn Burningham. And he wrote this book and he did all of the illustrations. I think he drew all of the pictures. And we're very happy uh, to say a big thank you to Candlebook Press for allowing us to read this book to you today. Okay. I hope you can see it everything okay. Boy and girl lived in a house on top of a hill. See the house? One day they made a picnic lunch. Then they went down the hill with the picnic basket. At the bottom of the hill were sheep, pig, and duck. Come and have a picnic with us, said boy and girl. So they all went to find a place to have their picnic together. So much fun. Oh, what is that? But they had not seen Bull. Ooh, he looks kind of big, doesn't he? 
all started to chase them. Duck, pig, sheep, boy, and girl ran as fast as they could towards the woods to hide from both. Do you think that they will be fast enough? I hope so. We're gonna have to run really fast to get away. Can you find boy, girl, pig, sheep, and duck? Can you see them all in the trees? After Bull went away, they came out of the woods to have their picnic. Oh, they made it. But the wind blew Sheep's hat away. Oh no. What's gonna happen next? Can you find Sheep's hat? Do you see it anywhere? I think I see it. I see it right there in the tree. Oops. Then Pig dropped his ball. Uh-oh. It rolled away down the hill and into a pond. Duck went in to look for it. Can you find Pig's ball? Do you see Pig's ball? I see it right here. They walked all over the field to find a place for their picnic. They're having quite the time at their picnic, aren't they? Oh no, then Duck lost his scarf. Can you see Duck's scarf? Yes, there it is. It's in the flowers. They were all getting very hungry. At last, they found a good place to have their picnic. That looks perfect. Oh, there they are, eating away. Enjoying the day. Then they played games until it was time to go home. They were all very tired as they climbed up the hill. You can sleep at our house, said boy and girl. So boy, girl, pig, sheep, and duck all went to sleep. Who is sleeping in which bed? Hmm. That looks like boy and girl. Is that the sheep? That's definitely the duck. There's the scarf. And who's that? Is that cow? No, that's the pig. <laughs> Shall we see if we can find your bed? Where's your bed in the house? Is it in the upstairs or is it in the downstairs? The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. I'd like to sing a couple more songs now that we've done our story. I've got a really good, it's more of a rhyme. It's called Five Hungry Ants. They went into the picnic. You have to hold up five fingers. So we've got one, two, three, four, Five, five fingers, five hungry ants marching in a line. They come upon a picnic where they can dine. They march into the salad. They march into the cake. They march into the pepper. Uh-oh, that was a mistake. Uh, 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 choo! Now how many ants do we have? Four hungry ants marching in a line. They come upon a picnic where they can dine. They march into the salad. They march into the cake. They march into the pepper. Uh-oh, that was a mistake. Ah, 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 choo. Now how many fingers do we have up? One, two, three. 
three hungry ants marching in a line. They come upon a picnic where they can dine. They march into the salad. They march into the cake. They march into the pepper. Uh-oh, that was a mistake. Ah, 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 ah. Now we have two ants, two hungry ants, marching in a line. They come upon a picnic where they can dine. They march into the salad. They march into the cake. They march into the pepper. Uh-oh, that was a mistake. Ah, 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 ah. Choo! Now we have one hungry ant left. One hungry ant marching in a line. He comes upon a picnic where he can dine. He marches in the salad. He marches in the cake. He marches in the pepper. Uh oh, that was a mistake. Ah, 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 ah. Choo! All the ants are gone. Okay, let's do another song. It's called a Douglas fir, and this is really fun if you want to stand up and do the actions. I'm just going to stay sitting so I can still be in the camera, but you are welcome to get up and stretch out. It goes like this. A Douglas fir, a Douglas fir, little tiny mushrooms and a Douglas fir, a Douglas fir, a Douglas fir. Little tiny mushrooms and a Douglas fir. Sword fern, sword fern. Little tiny mushrooms and a Douglas fir. Sword fern, sword fern. Little tiny mushrooms and a Douglas fir. Good job. That's a fun song. It's way more fun when you can stand up though. I have one last song I want to do called Sleeping Bunnies, and I have a little bunny that's going to help me do this. So if you have a, stuff, a bunny stuffy at home, you're welcome to run and grab it to do the song with us. It's called Little Buddies Sleeping. We're all going to be little buddies and we're going to go to sleep. Okay, let's go. Let's go lay down on your bed or on your couch blanket with your stuffy. Goes like this. See the bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Come and let us gently wake them with the tune. Oh, how still are they in? Wake up soon. Up little bunny, hop, hop, hop. Up little bunny, hop, up little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Up little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Yay! <laughs> I hope you had fun doing that. I'll put my bunny back. There we go. Well, thank you so much for coming today. Now time to sing your goodbye song. And we're gonna sing goodbye using sign language with our two friends. So we've got one friend here, one friend here, Give each other a big hug. And so we're gonna say goodbye like this. And then we're say. Okay, so let's start our song. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for coming.